guys and welcome back to my channel Ahoy te avitai chick na moi on kanale how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are well. Love is in the air because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. I hope you guys are all prepared. So, in honor of this Valentine's Day, guys, I wanted to talk about the most romantic Slovak man ever. Like, seriously, so romantic. No, it's not my husband. <laughs> He's very romantic, but he's not the most romantic Slovak man. No, that title goes to Andrei Sladkovic. I hope I've said that right. By the way guys, I apologise the way I'm pronouncing his name. If you've been watching me long enough, you know I cannot pronounce the R's like the Slovaks do. So his name, instead of being Andre, I'm sure how you guys would say it, it's to me Andre. <laughs> I've completely butchered his name and I apologise for those people who are going to attack me on the comments. I really try but I cannot roll my R's. Anyway, so um, if you don't know the story of Andre Sladkovic and Maria Pishlova, I will tell you. Maria and Andre met when he was a student and he was tutor, 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 tutor. when he was a student and he was tutoring her. Tuturing. God, I can't speak Slovak, can't speak English, can't speak anything. He was tutoring her. <laughs> How do you say that word? Tutoring. He was tutoring her. Now, he was poor and she was comfortable, rich, and her family didn't approve of them being lovers, so they wanted her to marry a gingerbread baker. And he was wealthy, so she married him, and then Andre became a priest and married somebody else like two years after she got married so it's a very sad not quite a sad Romeo and Juliet because they don't kill each other but this story unlike Romeo and Juliet is true and it's based in Slovakia in fact it's based in Banska Stiavnička which is a little medieval town in Slovakia and I've looked it up it's about an hour and a half away from Trnava I will definitely be visiting there next time I'm in Slovakia if you do happen to go to Banska Stjavnička, then visit the Marina House where you will be able to see the house in which she grew up in. Also, I think they were running this place called a love bank where couples would be able to go and put in like bits of momentum, nice memory pieces or whatever from their relationship etc. I know they did it last year, I'm not sure if they're doing it this year, but if you happen to be in Banska Stjavnička, then yeah, go visit the Marina house. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. My Instagram page, I asked you guys to tell me if Slovak men are romantic, and I haven't looked at the results of the poll yet, but if you head over to my Instagram, I'm sure you will see it, I will post it sometime Today. Another reason why Andrei Sladkovic takes the title as the most romantic Slovak man, maybe the most romantic man, is because of the poem that he wrote, a poem entitled Marina after his love. Now I know what you're thinking, a poem, whatever, everybody writes a poem, no big deal. Not everybody can write a 2,910 lined poem. 2,910 lines. I haven't read the poem yet because I haven't got like five hours of my life to read but 2,910 let that sink in 2,910 lines saying how much he loved Marina comparing her to flower to the sky just I'm, I haven't read it but I'm pretty sure he compares her to every beautiful thing that there is and just spills and pours his heart out 2,910 lined poem guys you need to step up your game. <laughs> I'm really excited to read this poem actually and I implore you guys all to read it and let me know what you think. Anyway, that is it for this video. I just wanted to give you that little bit of nugget information. I'm sure most of you guys know it because I've heard that it's taught in the Slovak schools, the poem of Marina. Um, but for those who didn't, there you go, learn something new every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and share and subscribe and comment and I will catch you guys in my next video. Ciao, ahoy te, bye! Oh, don't forget to go onto my Instagram to find out the poll uh, if Slovak men are romantic or not. Okay.